project manager at Notebook in Marseille. As you can see, I'm currently in our office, um, but um, here we do a lot of things on our computers, we apply for different projects, uh, how held our meetings here uh, most of the time, and um, uh, what is more important is that we do um, most of our activities outdoors actually at Havana Selle. Um, we have different kinds of festivals and events there, uh, but this is like our base where we uh, do all the pre-production of, of our events. I've been working um, with Now Cultura Naselje for three years now. Um, but uh, I would say the like, last two years are like official uh, full-time job. Before that I was doing um, different roles in different projects, but there were smaller roles and I was uh, volunteering also in different events. I, uh, as I said, I was volunteering uh, a lot and that's actually how I met um, the people from Novokult Monastelje and started um, to, to work in the organization. The first event that I um, did with Nova Cultura Nasilia was um, a film festival um, in the neighborhood and it is one of the best experiences that I had. I would say the pros are um, that you really need to get out of your comfort zone and you will learn so much and meet uh, many new people all the time and get all the experiences that you wouldn't even imagine that you will be able to, to get through, through just through the job. Um, that is why it is uh, more than just a job. Uh, but also it can be really challenging sometimes. Uh, sometimes you um, need to deal with uh, different things that you didn't expect to have to deal with or people uh, that um, maybe don't suit you the best, but uh, you need to get uh, the job done. And uh, so I would say that it is both uh, a pro and a con, the flexibility and uncertainty and uh, all the different experiences that you get. Maybe the most important skill that you need to have is uh, flexibility and being able to um, adapt to different environments, to different um, situations and to come up with um, the good um, solutions for, for different kinds of problems and um, I would say that it is also connected with uh, creativity and you need to be a creative person to, to, to do in this, uh, to work in this industry. Of course uh, this job uh, shares a lot of difficulties with uh, different jobs in different industri industries, um, mostly with ones that are also connected with working uh, with people. And um, one more thing that is really important, I would say, is that uh, even though you are doing something creative and it is always um, related with uh, having fun, uh, you also have this huge responsibility to the community that you work with. and. Um, yeah, I would say that uh, there are some similar challenges, but some are really um, unique to, to the industry that connects uh, people on this uh, new level, which is art and culture. Of course, that I would encourage uh, young people to, to uh, pursue uh, the career in um, creative industries. Um, I would say that that is the best thing that ever happened to me and I would, I would recommend it to everyone. Uh, my advice to, to young people who would like to, to work in this industry is to not be scared and not be shy and just to explore and get as many experience as they can and um, they, they will be really happy if they do. So just uh, no pressure, no anything, just enjoy your, yourself and uh, create. I would say, like, I'm not sure what are like my foresights for the, the creative and cultural um, sector, but uh, I think it uh, really um, 
has to do with what we are doing now and I think that is something that was shown during the pandemic where we all experienced that um, it, is, it is really cru crucial to have uh, cultural uh, and creative content and to express yourself even in the worst times. Mm -hmm.